1859, Rao Jodha laid the foundation of what was destined to become one of the mightiest forts of all time, Mehrangarh, Citadel of the Sun. Citadel. Citadel. That word sounds so good. I know. Citadel. <laughs> all right, Ronnie, are you ready to take a deep dive into history right now? Yes, I am. Yeah, I think we're good. We have our audio guide. Yes. The cool thing is when you enter the fort, you have an option of take, going along with a human guide or you have the option of taking one of these audio guides for like 180 rupees. Uh, I like this more because it just makes me feel as if I'm immersed into a movie with like background music and sound effects and a great narration. <laughs> Love it. Let's go. So when Rao Jodha uh, wanted to build the fort on this particular hill, there was actually like an old sage who used to inhabit this hill who was known as Chiriyanath, meaning the lord of the birds. And uh, he had to be displaced so that this fort could be built. And he was obviously not too happy about that. So he cursed Rao Jodha and the fort and said that you will always have a scarcity of water which in these parts is like a curse that should not be taken lightly so uh, Rao Jodha obviously consulted with uh, the priests and everything of the temple and they decided that they need to sacrifice a human being so that this curse is uplifted and uh, Raja Ram Meghwal offered himself uh, to be sacrificed and it said that he was actually buried alive in the foundations of this fort and that kind of has uh, taken away the extreme effects of that curse. Mati. No shopping here, please. Control yourself. Everything is so colorful and like. She's like, I want, I want, I want, I want. Damn, look at this part, Bharti. So regal. I'm back in time. Yeah. And the best part is these musicians, like over there, they just play so strategically. So there's always like background music happening. Yeah, it that just is. enhances the entire experience. experience yeah, true. Okay, so this is the main part now, right? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think this is where they have uh, organized all the various displays. Oh, God damn, it's beautiful. Right? <laughs> Oof. My God, too regal. Too regal. Too much. Too royal. Wow. Too royal. That's why the team is called Rajasthan Royals. <laughs> 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 it's such a dad joke. <laughs> is it a howda or howda? I was reading it in, in Devnagri and it says howda. Howda. Even I think we are confusing it with howda bridge yeah, yeah. in Calcutta. It's howda. <laughs> so in the howda that was gifted by Shah Jahan, if you see the door as hinges, I thought hinges were like much later in the timeline of mankind, but I'm quite surprised to see like, proper hinges for the door. Ye Afim ke liye ki tambaku ke liye? Ye Afim ke liye ye tambaku. Achcha. Isme se supari jaisi khushbu kyu aati hai? Achcha. Khushbu to badi hai iski. So now we're gonna walk into the Dolat Khana or the House of Treasures. My God, check out that metal work. It's wood, Ronnie. That's it's been wood? painted gold. Most of it is wooden. So this was like a battle bounty. Like he won it, he won a battle and he got this back from mm. the losing kingdom uh. in Gujarat. Dude, just look at the detailing on the fabric. Like yeah. it's like microscopic. <laughs> the skill, man, the skill and the dedication to create these works of art, like unimaginable, like unfathom it only. Like. Well, they had a lot of a fame, so. <laughs> so 
so this room behind me is uh, known as the Shish Mahal or the Palace of Mirrors and uh, this was actually the bed chamber of one of the kings um, honestly like i can't even imagine sleeping in a room like this and especially back then when there were, it was like candle lit and stuff like that like you just be tripping out with all the reflections and <laughs> This room is called the Pool Mahal or the Palace of Flowers, and this was a later addition to the fort uh, by the King Abhay Singh. Basically, this was like their chill room, evening scenes with poets and musicians and dancers, and just basically just a room for you to get inspired and create. This room is known as the Takhat Mahal. Uh, basically, it was Maharaja Takhat Singh's uh, entertainment room and bed chamber. And the fascinating thing about this room is that you can see the first signs of the British entering India with the Christmas decorations that have been hung from the wooden ceiling. Damn, that's deep, huh? Mm -hmm. That's where we came from, right? Yeah. I'm sure back in the day, obviously, they didn't have these bars. No. And you could just like kick somebody out. Yes, you don't need to literally kick me, but yeah. <laughs> Get out of my kingdom and just like one kick and you're out. Chapati. <laughs> <laughs> no remorse, no guilt, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Bro, that time was some... Yeah. Those were different times, even though there was so much beauty in all this, there was that much savagery as well in their yeah. way of being like very crazy. This room is called the Jhanki Mahal. Uh, basically, at that time, men and women used to be segregated into separate areas of the fort. So this is, I think, where the women used to be. And they could basically peep through these little holes, like Jhank ke niche dek sakte the ki kya ho raha hai scene. And here on display, they have these really fantabulous cradles for the royal babies. <laughs> Spectacular, stunning. The words. These words are not enough only to describe what this, but what is this place bit? is. So this was the uh, this area is known as the zanana or the ladies part because that time, mm. like I said, na separate separate hote mm. the men and women. So this is where the ladies would hang out in this courtyard. Probably also the only white part, right? So I overheard one of the guys telling a tour group that uh, this is seashells mixed with lime and water and it creates like some kind of chemical reaction which makes it look like marble, oh, the plaster. Nice. So this is the final stop uh, in the tour of the fort and this is uh, the Moti Mahal. Uh, this is where the king would hold his darbar. Uh, and what's interesting about this room is uh, these little decorative balconies were actually little spy holes or peep holes for the women to listen into the darbar sessions that were going on out here. Okay guys, so now we are at uh, the Flying Fox zip line area. And if you book this thing in Mehrangad Fort, you unlock a whole different part of the fort as well. So, Bhati ji, tell me how long is Jodhpur's time, how long is this time? I don't know, man. How long is this time? How long is this time? How long is this time? And so much has happened. So much has happened. The marriage, the recovery, then the exploring, and then figuring, planning, shooting the music video, like for you, making the music, like... And then just exploring all these parts, yeah. right? Like, it's been so fun, even though we've been like touristing. Yeah, this moment right now is an up. Sitting here on the terrace of Mehrangar Fort, you know, eating a great dinner. 
very romantic firstly nice little wind bro- blowing you know and after, especially after like days of shooting right when you're tired the fun is then like when you really tire yourself out in the heat you all oh, you know thakke jab naate and then finally you hit that shower go into an ac room have a dinner like this and that's the price like you said always be in discomfort right mm. when you keep seeking that discomfort and when you're in that discomfort the, when the comfort that arrives after that is just priceless yeah and that's what it's all about